Hello, Wanda, the Pauline Rock Lady here, doing some canvas. <laughs> I am. This is from Five Below. It's a three-panel canvas wall art set that you get. Comes packaged like this, hanging on the wall inside the Five Below store. They do have it online as well. Anyways, what I'm going to do is take it apart and paint the middle one with you guys in a tutorial. Also, I wanted to show before I get to taking this apart that if you don't have a Five Below and you wanted to do this project, you can hit the dollar store. And this is their five by sevens. Um, five by seven, you can get each one for a dollar. And I made this. I bought some twine also from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. And I copied these on my printer, made a copy of them. And then I shrunk them down, I printed them out. And then this one is shrunk to 60% of the original. And it was a full page, eight and a half by 11 when it printed out. And then I shrunk it down as to 60% total for the five by sevens. And you can use carbon paper to trace it right onto your panels or canvas, sorry, stretch canvas. <laughs> um, and then you can paint right along with me. But what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't staple them together yet. I just wanted to show you that you could make these, um, yourself if you can if you don't have a five below you can make the set but you are still welcome to paint along on a rock on a um you can paint on anything you have if it's a rock if it's a plate if it's a piece of paper whatever grab your stuff um grab your pens actually today i think we're going to be using Oh, hoo hoo. <laughs> it's a funny name. But these are markers. And they are fun. Oh, hoo hoo art markers. And they have a chisel tip and a brush tip. Pretty cool. And you guys know that I love watercolor markers. So this is sort of like that, but just not watercolor. I don't think they're alcohol, but they're definitely, they're art markers. Let's see. You can blend them. They come with a, bl a colorless blending pen, but they definitely don't smell like alcohol markers. So I'm thinking that they're just markers, but beautiful ones at that. I did swatch them out on paper. Beautiful. I haven't played with them on canvas yet, but I also swatched them out on Santorini because that's what I use the most. And you can see here, this is them. And then with uh, the colorless blender here on the side. So they kind of give that watercolor effect. So I'm really liking these. I think they're gonna be beautiful. And you know that I'm gonna have to do some nail foils on canvas because I I can't do things without putting foil on it. <laughs> I'm I'm that way. <laughs> Anyways, I will put these aside until I I wanted to show you. I'm gonna take this apart. And please forgive me if uh, you made uh, your set already. I should have told you I was gonna take it apart. So not to put it together until we're done painting it. I apologize for that. Anyways, um, I'm just pulling the staples out of the middle one. Because that's the one I'm going to paint today. Just grabbed a pair of pliers. You can use a flathead screwdriver. Anything that you can get under there with. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. And make sure those go into the trash and not into your floor because then they'll go into your foot and oh my goodness that hurts. Ask me how I know. 
<laughs> okay, I'm sure you can guess. All right, one canvas removed. Go five below. What a great, neat thing, huh? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so because these are pre-stretched, they're a bit bouncy. So I do suggest if you're going to be doing any kind of pressing to find something that fits inside there. That's not going to fit. Um, what do I have? I wonder. Ta-da! That will fit. Just take this tab off of it. The foils come with these little things. I don't hang mine up, so that will work. It might be a little tall. Anyway, so find something that will fit in there. If you have to, um, you know, cut out some something to make a sponge would work nicely too, or a towel. You can fold a towel up. Just something so you're not pressing down too much on it. And that way, I probably will still use this because it'll give me, yeah, it'll give me some stability there. All right. So I'm just gonna start in with the colors. I think this is gonna be a really easy tutorial, you guys, since we're I'm gonna use markers and then foil. So you can just picture your butterfly. I don't really, I love rainbow, so I'm gonna stick with that. So I'm gonna start off with red, and this is called Geranium, and it's R8. And I'm going to go with the brush side. And I'm going to do my typical gradation. Start with red up in here. Ooh, it's very dark on canvas, huh? I will probably deepen the black on here because it's sort of a gray, I guess. And okay, let's get that colorless blender and see. Now you're going to want to have a piece of paper or a towel handy to this side here. Um, take the color off of your colorless blender. I just wanted to see if it works on canvas. Not too well. Doesn't blend out much on the canvas. Oh, there it goes a little bit. You just gotta really make it. <laughs> it might be where you wanna do it while it's still wet a bit. But you know what I think? I think that if you use the other colors right up next to it, that's gonna be where the blending comes in. And doing it while it's wet. See the difference that's making? Major. So I'm going to come back in here, and then while it's wet, I'm going to use the colorless blender. And I'm going to find a regular piece of paper. I don't like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use orange YR3 in the brush. Make sure not to stick your hand in it. I'm actually going to move that out for now just because it's a little bit tall. They do sell these kits at Five Below with pens. Some come with pens, some come with watercolor, some come with acrylic. This comes with acrylic paint. Um, 
I wasn't too particularly impressed with the paint, so I chose not to use the paint. And I like using pens, even on canvas, so. Uh, you know, I do like paint, but I, I prefer watercolor, too. And sometimes I get my acrylic on. But... All right, I'm going to use this sunflower next. And I'm going to grab that orange back out and see if I can blend that a bit. While it's still wet. Yeah, I'm going to grab a bit of alcohol um, in a brush, in an aquash brush, and see if it does anything or if water does. Water doesn't phase it at all. Doesn't move it, not a bit. So let's try some alcohol. Put some alcohol in a cup. Nope. <laughs> so these are permanent. Very nice. And nothing phases it. Not alcohol and not water. That's cool. These are, it says they're color fast, so. Alright, let's see how this colorless blender does on the on the two parts. Eh, that's not that's better. Kind of blending them all together. Oh, I like it. That's where it's at right there, guys. And then wipe your tip out until it goes clear. Very good. All right, I'm just going to take another little bit of yellow here. and move into a lighter yellow a uh, <laughs> it's a strange word uh not a strange word but barium yellow mm -hmm. any nurses out there think that's just too much <laughs> barium yellow mm. <laughs> sorry wow whoever named these they were getting serious huh oh no I went out on my canvas. That's all right. You know why? Because I have white paint. And I have a white paint pen. Ta-da. Maybe not. All right. I'll be touching that up later. <laughs> okay, don't get crazy with your yellow, or with your pens. All right, let's do some green. I'm going to do a yellow green. I like doing this so that when the green blends, it's not going straight from like a yellow to a harsh dark green.
All right, that was yellow green. And now let's go to, I don't have a great, great green. Let's see, emerald green. It's pretty dark. Let me see what bud green. I need to get my color swatches. This one might work. Yeah, bud green. Bud green. Hmm. I'll just leave that one alone. Maybe we should call it CBD green. All right, and the colorless blender. Go from your yellow into the green. Yellow into the green. And again, if you guys don't have Ohuhu, you don't have to use Ohuhu. The, if you have Copic, that's perfect. Any, any marker pretty much will work. These are, I think, pretty basic markers that come with a colorless blender. They are very permanent though. You could even use Sharpie for that matter. Um, just blend them with an alcohol blender or a brush and alcohol would be good. You know, Sharpie came out with a uh, set of um, fabric, oops, wrong green. That's okay, I'll use this one now. A set of fabric marker markers that are fabulous. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning pens. Love them. And if you haven't seen them, I did them on Olivia's Dragon, one of my tutorials from a few weeks ago. Check that out. They're, I know the word juicy is kind of weird, but they're very juicy. They're very wet and, and juicy. I don't know what else to say. They're lovely. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a harsh line there. I think I'm going to go back to this color and blend, see if it'll blend them together. Pretty. Okay, I need to clean my blender. All right, so now I'm gonna go, let's see, with the blue green turquoise. Pretty, whoops, I don't want the chisel end. Let's try this turquoise. Keep this green handy because I think I'm going to need it. Mm, yep. See if I can be ambidextrous here. <laughs> Very good. All 
right, that's good. Okay. And uh, blue, let's see what this is. This is a turquoise blue, it's called turquoise green light. here at this line. I'm going to see if I can blend that out a bit. And this is that uh, bud green. I think I messed up the lids here. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, okay, this is the dark one. Whew. That could have been a disaster, huh? All right, guys. All right, next blue. On to dun, dun, dun. cerulean. Oh, dang it. I did it again. Okay, I'm going to have lots of touch ups here. <laughs> Man, here in Texas, everything is yellow outside from the trees and the plants blooming everywhere. Whew. It's definitely spring here, and my allergies are on fire. They're announcing spring. <laughs> so please forgive my nose. I am, uh, I do take allergy medicine, but it still is what it is. And I don't want to take the other, the big allergy medicine, or you guys would never see a tutorial from me. So, because I would sleep my life away. All right, let's see. We'll go, let me check and see how dark this is. That's very dark. Um... This one, pastel, pastel blue. Yeah, we'll try that. That's too light. All right, here we go. Royal blue. And I'm going to get the cerulean blue out to blend. Those are a lot alike. I need like four more hands. My son is a truly ambidextrous person, and to say no, this feels very weird to me. <laughs> I don't come by it naturally. But we're exercising right brain, left brain, right? They say when you do things that aren't natural, it makes your brain work extra.
Okay, that works. Let's see. Cerulean blue. And what's this one? Brilliant blue. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a new word, guys. It's beautiful. Okay. Indigo purple. Uh, let's do aubergine. I just like saying that. Aubergine. Sounds like a rich word, doesn't it? Well, aubergine is very dark. Okay. Rich blue. Royal blue. No, it was brilliant. Brilliant blue. I will blend. This one. that wrong I did that backwards okay Vivid purple. And I'm just gonna, yeah. I keep opening the wrong end. Okay, I'm blending pastel blue into vivid purple because it's too pink. So I'm making a different color purple. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Lovely. Just cleaning off the tips, making it clean again. Okay. Okay, I think we will move on to some touch up and then some foil. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to you know what, actually, I'm going to get the white 1MR Uni Posca. You can do this with a brush as well. This may not work, I may need to get my brush. Oh no, it's good. And I'm just touching up those few places where I went outside of the lines, I guess. 
like a true warrior. And then I'm going to go in with my Ohuhu Black on the brush end. And I am going to redo the black here of this butterfly because it's very splotchy. And then I'm going to come in with some gold and do some more lining. Boy, pinned on canvas is so fun. And it's a brush tip, so it's sort of like painting. Sort of. Not really. If you guys have Posca paint pens or Tule, um, Tule Art, any, any paint pen, that would be great as well. And it's okay if you're not perfect with the black because butterflies you know if you look here both sides are different so Okay, so I did all the black. I reinforced it or re reblacked it, <laughs> reinked it. Um, I think I'm going to stick with my faceted foils here since I want it to be a nice vivid rainbow. I have this one, and I believe I got it from SW Nails, which is an Etsy store, and I think they're in Spain, and it takes like eight to 12 weeks to get here and it's basically the same stuff you can get out of here like this one small crushed glass anyways it's a little bit more transparent so I was thinking about using that but I don't want to 
uh, use stuff that you guys can't get easily. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> First, I'm going to line with Treasure Gold 3081E. And you don't have to reline in gold. I just, I like the way it looks. <laughs> so I'm going to find my butterfly parts. My butterfly body. I might have to change my brush. It's a little thick for me. Let me see here. Actually, I think it might be my paint. I need to take that out from oh, my one fingernail. That was from Five Below. I was testing out a, uh, what are those called when the, is it monochromatic or no? Anyways, when it's a heat changing nail polish, the part that's on your finger is darker and then the other part, the nail that sticks above your finger is lighter. Silly me. Um, I was checking it out and I bought one and uh, I don't have <laughs> any nails so it stays all one color dark silly I don't know I had an idea for it but it wouldn't work so but Matt compare or compre sent me a or Campari. Oh, Matt, I don't even know how to say your last name. Anyways, he sent me um, some beautiful rocks. They are like mood rocks. You hold them and they change colors. You can run them under hot water and they go bananas. <laughs> and then there's also one that is light. It turns purple in the sunlight and then pink in in the not sunlight anyways I put them up or I would show them to you silly me okay so I am also going to line the sections that I'm gonna be foiling Because we're on canvas, I need this foil glue to stay put. <laughs> so do you see what I'm doing here? I'm going in my sections. So go ahead and line all four compartments of your butterfly if you are lining if not go ahead and start foiling I will be using SXC nail art foil glue 
and I'm going to try the new uh, mini USB LED dryer from Five Below. It's eye cover brand Smart Tech. It is a Sun Mini, but I tried it earlier and it worked. So we shall see. We might be on to something here. If you're new to foiling, you'll learn quickly that lights and glue are the key. And what you use makes a huge difference. Like if you just order off Amazon some random nail glue and some random foils. Foils probably will work, but the nail glue is usually a no-go. It has to be SXC or Mac Art on rocks for it to work so far that's all we found that works and it's been over a year that we've been trying glues so so yep I'm just staying trying to stay more on the black than in the colors because I don't want to lose my rainbow so try to keep lining around. Oh, see, I lost it anyways. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Like that. I'm going to have to change brushes. This one's toast. Okay, I got all my gold lining done. Now I want to do a little bit in the body with the gold. Just filling in the white parts. And, you know, just adding. There's, it's just kind of a messy blobbed on in the middle. You know how butterflies are kind of fluffy and fuzzy on their backs. So I think that's basically what I'm doing here. And then for butterfly eyes, I'm going to find a meshy, not messy, mesh-like foil or a piece of a foil um, and do the eyes so you can see the detail because there's enough room for you, uh, enough room on the eye, eye area to see detail. <laughs> You see the butterfly back? I think I missed some spots. Well, let's see.
I can see better through the camera. Okay, good enough. Now, for the eyes, I am going to black out I'm going to put those back <laughs> I know, with gold. I know. That didn't work out really well. Buggy eyes. Okay, for the bug eyes, I think I'm going to do these dots on this one, on this foil. See those dots? They make really good bug eyes. Bug eyes. I'm going to cut off a little bit of foil. And I'm going to start... Oops. In there, let me see if I can get some glue in here. Okay, um, I have poured SXC nail art foil glue into my paint well, my art dish. Art palette, six for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Crafter Square. Um. Okay, so take. These are disposable eyeliner brushes. Get just a small bead of glue on the brush. Move this paint out of the way. And pop it in the eye.
like so. Now move your glue out of the way. You do not want that to be cured by the light. <laughs> no blinding by the light. All right, I'm going to use the new sunlight. Click the button, protect my glue. Looks good. Okay, we're done curing. I'm going to get my foil here. And I just need a section where both eyes will fit in there without touching the flowers, just the polka dots. Now, remember, this is a empty space here, so you want to put something hard underneath it so that you can get your pressure on your foil. You don't want to push down on that canvas because it could uh, dent it, stretch it out, and that sort of stuff. But look at those pretty eyes. Nice. Okay, eyes are done. And I'm going to move on to the uh, wings. For the smaller spots out here, I'm going to use the small crushed glass. Basically like this. And then, where did it go? <laughs> I cut off a section and now I don't know what I did with it. Uh, okay. Well, it's here somewhere, but I don't know what I did with it. Uh, the large crushed glass, this one here. I'm going to use this in the bigger areas in here. So I'm going to cut off a piece of that to go with the piece I have somewhere. It's probably stuck to my back. <laughs> or worse. Okay, let's get started on this fun stuff. I'm going to move these out of the way while I'm putting the glue. Okay, just stay off of the gold line, stay inside the gold, but kind of dome it. You see that? See how it's kind of domed? They look like jelly beans. Perfect. My glue is a little bit jellyfied because I got the light too close to it a bit. But it works in your favor sometimes. Not letting that happen, but <clears throat> sometimes when the glue is a little bit more gel, it's easier to control. See how pretty that is? Alright, I'm going to do this section here.
Okay. You can see the glossy sections that I did. Okay, move your glue out of the way. And apply your light for one cycle. Okay, when the cycle's done, make sure you have something underneath your, in your canvas, in here, so that you can put pressure where you need it. So I'm grabbing the, I call it small crushed glass. You want dull side on the butterfly. So I'm just going to cover up the areas that I just glued there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this foil right here so that I don't damage it. And with a Q-tip, a soft Q-tip, I'm going to make sure the edges are all laid down nicely. Make sure your canvas underneath there, make sure there's something like I said, so you can put pressure without poking a hole through your canvas. Because we're doing mixed media on canvas, so it's not just like, you know, regular painting. Okay, that should be good. Um, I like to keep a pair of tweezers for this kind of stuff. Pull off your foil. Oh, gorgeous. Looky, looky, looky. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next section, which is the bigger parts. Notice I'm resting my hand kind of on the canvas, but I'm, I have my arm kind of planted there, so I'm not putting pressure on the canvas. Make sure you're wearing your gloves, okay? And your PPE, your mask. You don't need nobody having a reaction. Like one in, I can't remember how many people are allergic to UV products, but I'm one of them. And I met another person today who has a similar reaction. But blisters, they are not fun because they, do, they don't go away very fast. And they peel and peel and peel and it's ugly and painful so just prevent it from happening by keeping yourself protected and it didn't happen right away when I first started using UV products I nothing you know normal didn't bother wearing gloves I didn't see the need to since these products are used on hands to me it was like you know no big deal you put them on people's hands and fingernails, so if it gets on your skin, it must be okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Anyways, it can build up in your skin and in your system and cause you to have a reaction, just like anything else. 
it's resin. It's a resin based product. So if you have any issues with resin, you will m most definitely have issues with UV products. Now, with that said, I'm not saying they're dangerous. I'm just saying it is uncomfortable when you're allergic to it. And I love foil, so I am smitten with it. <laughs> and it, it owns my soul. <laughs> Okay, that section is glued. I need to cure it still, but there you can see the doming. You see that, how it's raised off of the canvas? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, cure it for one cycle. Uh, not the big light. <laughs> I have a paper flashing it. That's an auto light, so. Okay, on. Grab the larger crushed glass, dull side onto the canvas, and I'm going to try to do it in, well it'll have to be two, but make sure you have something in there. Now you'll notice when you use a piece of foil, there's a lot left. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> well, you can sure see that there's a lot left in there to be used. So we're going to try to use some of those places. But be careful because if you put them on a spot where uh, it's too sticky, it will pull your glue right off of the canvas you're working on and it could pull up your paint and damage your your art let's see I think we got them all Looking good. Beautiful, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go around my butterfly. Same idea. Smaller ones with the small crushed glass. These bigger ones in here, the larger. And same on the other side. Okay, I've got all the foil finished. And this butterfly is done. I think um, I may add some rhinestones on the body 
and I think I'm gonna resin like just the butterfly. Yeah, let's do that so we can so we can see how that works out. Okay, so UV resin. And I'm gonna apply it in the wings. You can, you know, put your resin all over your um, canvas. I'm going to experiment here and see. You can also do this with um, UV gel top coat, nail polish top coat that is UV. And that's like a 30 second cure versus a few minutes like this one. When I was growing up, my grandma, my uncle lived with my grandmother and he was very crafty, very creative. Anyways, he did, this was the seventies. He took a boot, like a work boot and cut it in half down the center, um, like where the eyelets are and then like fillet it but laid it um keel up on a canvas and then resined it and it was the coolest looking thing ever and it hung on my grandmother's wall for goodness 30 years i don't know where it's at now i think my sister might have it but it was really amazing <laughs> it's funny the things that make really cool art you know Okay, I think that's good. Let me just check over here.
Okay, this has to go into the big uh, UV light. So I'm going to pull Mr. Beetles over here. Not Mr. Beetles, Beetle. <laughs> My Beetles UV light that is 84 watts. And I'm gonna prop it on top here. 120, I'm gonna start with two and see what happens with that. And I made a big mess. Okay, that was one cycle of 120, and this is very hot, so I think that is probably good. Feels very dry to me, but look, it's beautiful. Gorgeous, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. What a great, great idea to just resin just the butterfly. Sorry, okay. One more look and then I'm going to go take it to the magic UV lights in the kitchen. When I say UV lights, they're not, that's not what I mean. I mean LED lights. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Look at this beauty. That's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to take it back and put it back together in the three set wall canvas hanging art. <laughs> the canvas wall art. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just putting this back in here. Where's my staples? It's so weird. I don't know why it's not stapling this right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. There it is, guys. Back up on the wall. Looks pretty good. Alright, if you liked what you saw here today, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, and if you liked it, be sure to hit like and let me know in the comments what you liked about it. And if you want to be notified next time we're uploading new content, hit the bell and YouTube will send you a message. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.